Award-winning inventor and author Julie Austin is transforming businesses and lives with her interactive creativity and innovation keynote speeches, breakouts, and workshops, giving participants the tools they need to generate new ideas of their own. Her patented product, Swiggy's Wrist Water Bottles, have been a NASDAQ Product of the Year semifinalist and are sold in over 20 countries. Julie makes innovation fun, educational, and inspires audiences with her passion. Her background in front of the camera as a TV host and behind the scenes as a writer-producer guarantees she will deliver a dynamic, inspiring, and entertaining speech thoroughly researched and customized specifically for your audience. The telegraph came along and you could send short, secure messages over great distances. And that was wonderful. Western Union was booming. They were making so much money. They had no competition until the phone came along. And the funny thing is, uh, Alexander Graham Bell went to Western Union to see if they would buy the patent on the phone, and they turned it down. He said, why would anyone want to talk to anyone? We can send a message. As I just said that, I'm realizing we're regressing. <laughs> now when you call people there, you called me on the phone. <laughs> just send me a message. But the phone didn't go away, and Western Union went, huh, well, I guess maybe we should have bought that patent. Well, we'll just go around it. And they tried to go around it, and Bell sued and won. Now, Western Union realized they had to innovate or they were going to go out of business. So I finally get on the plane, and I have to sit next to this woman. New, new choice. <laughs> this man. New choice. This golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> proceeded to bark during the entire flight. <laughs> Learn from nature. The bullet trains in Japan are wonderful. 200 miles an hour, very quiet, except when they went through a tunnel. Then it was like a sonic boom and it gave everybody a headache. So this one engineer had the task of finding a solution. Well, it just so happened, and again, another streak of serendipity, that he was a bird watcher. And he noticed the kingfisher bird would dive from a very high branch into the water without making a sound. The kingfisher bird had a very long, narrow beak. So this engineer thought, hmm, I wonder if we use that kind of design, if it would work for the trains. And it worked. And if you look at the Japanese bullet trains, they all have that same design now. Nature, if you want an idea, go to nature. Again, it's a gold mine of ideas. The Titanic was a very luxurious ship for its day, but it failed in safety. Why do we always have to find out about things after they happen? What if we could spot problems before they happen? What if we could think like an inventor and spot problems that other people miss? The bottom line is creativity. When you don't have a ton of money to throw at something, all you have is your creativity. And honestly, it's the creative things that are going to work the best anyway. I appreciate you guys having someone from outside of your industry because I always tell people with creativity and innovation, you've got to get it ideas from outside of your industry, from everywhere.